you know you got to cherish it while it's here and you know while it's here have fun though have fun with what you're doing and make sure that what you're doing is what you love to do if you don't actually if you're doing it for you know your parents or for your friends or like just to just do it because you feel like it's the right thing like it's definitely common to you know switch majors and you know transfer schools if you really aren't happy where you're at it's normal to do that and at the end of the day you need to do what you want to do and it's not anyone's choice but you, but you. wanted to make this video for a long time now I just wanted to wait until I graduate you freshmen and all of you that you know are upperclassmen maybe you guys can learn something but a lot of you are freshmen and you guys ask me these questions a lot so I'm gonna just answer them for you in this video I, I hope it helps you if it does make sure you guys leave a like and if you want to see more college content subscribe to my channel today I wanted to talk about five tips I can give to any undergraduate student any freshman sophomore whatever year you are this, this really applies to everybody in college but i'm gonna just put you on now so save time save your 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 energy and the stress of you know going through these things important tip this is probably every through everything that i've learned in college this is the most important thing i've learned work hard and play harder now this means this means do not be a nerd and stay in your room all day it's good to do that. It's good to study. Not saying, you know, just party all the time and have fun. Just to just to get a I almost got a 4.0 in my first semester, but I was I was literally not talking to anyone. I had no social life. All my friends were like, "Where are you, Sage?" I went ghost. I went ghost the whole first semester cuz I was like, "Bro, I need to prove myself. You know, I need to prove something, you know, basically overwork myself." And it's just it's just as important if not more important to take that time to play you know go out with your friends and get food with people do whatever you can especially now in covid when you're stuck inside all day do stuff that you don't that doesn't have to do with school like i'm doing youtube on the side to just clear my head sometimes and, you know i love doing, making videos in general so i just make content but you guys can play soccer play basketball do something outside of just school if you're in a science a stem class or honestly any class in college is stressful but um you know you you just you really have to watch how many how much time you spend on your your work and also how much time you spend on you know your friends like get out there and interact with people try to meet new people long story short just prioritize your self-care prioritize yourself and um <laughs> yeah anyway that's I'm gonna move on to my second tip and my second tip has to do with self-care as well and a lot of these have to do with self-care actually <laughs> but um, one of them is meditation and a lot of you don't probably know you know what meditation is You've probably never done it before it's definitely changed my my life in general like just my focus throughout the day when I meditate all that goes away and I clear my head in the morning so that when I start my day when I start my classes or whatever, I'm focused. I'm focused in class and I can take notes. I can get my work done throughout the day. It, it makes my day a lot less stressful because, you know, I, I did that five, 10 minute um, meditation. So you guys, if you haven't tried it yet, definitely try meditating. All right, so my third tip, especially majors like engineering and like nursing, you have a lot of, of work in your classes. You take a lot of science and math not gonna lie they're tough like it's not like high school so you need to have those those couple a couple friends or just some people in your class that you can go to to like help you study and, and keep you on top of your work because they it saves you a lot of time trust me like you you'll get work done a lot quicker and you know obviously planning it out and doing all that extra time management stuff is is definitely important that saves you a lot more time if you have those couple a couple friends that you know you can count on that you know they'll be in class and they'll tell you what what's going on step four this is this is honestly one of the best best tips i can give to any freshmen out there that are going into college this four tip is just to be open-minded to open-minded to everybody that you encounter if you look behind me i actually have a board with a saying <laughs> with my goal of um on YouTube you know I I repeat it to myself every day just because I truly want to start believing in what I want to do you know my dream and not just saying it in my head or you know thinking about it every day I say it out loud because I want to believe it 
that's that's called auto suggestion you you manifest it through saying it and writing it down and focusing in on it every day <laughs> you know you don't really know um, a person in your class just say hi to them just say just be open-minded to it and you know sometimes relationships don't work friendships don't work it's fine but just move you know just keep pushing keep it pushing at the end of the day and open-mindedness is key in college it's the it's the key and talking about keys this is my fifth tip guys um this is like i'm saying all these are important but this is really important um, you know you only you only get these these opportunities once in a lifetime and, and i feel like as the years go by when you start getting sophomore junior senior those doors slowly close like as a senior you're not going to have the same opportunities that you had as a freshman so, you know you got to cherish it while it's here and you know while it's here have fun though have fun with what you're doing and make sure that what you're doing is what you love to do if you don't actually if you're doing it for you know your parents or for your friends or like just to just do it because you feel like it's the right thing like it's definitely common to you know switch majors and and maybe change schools you know transfer schools if you really aren't happy where you're at it's normal to do that and at the end of the day you need to do what you want to do and it's not anyone's choice but you and that's it that's about all i gotta say about college y'all um man yeah i'm so grateful though for for all of you guys that actually asked me these questions and if you guys want me to ask answer some more questions if you have any more um, leave a comment down below but also you can follow me on instagram and i'm definitely hitting you guys i, I hit you guys back a lot and you know we i chop it up with you a lot, with a lot of you guys so let me know if you guys have any questions comments anything um leave a like if you haven't already of course subscribe to my channel to see more content i will be posting a lot more i'm so excited for you guys to come along with me to this to this new chapter and i'm moving to california so it's gonna be a whole new environment i'm loving this whole process of you know finding an apartment and doing all that i'm gonna i'm gonna bring you guys along with me do the whole apartment hunting and like finding a job and you know all this other stuff i will let you guys know what you know what's going on but watching this video at this point i thank you sorry if it was a like this might be a 10 minute video but um i think i really do truly love you from the bottom of my heart i love you thank you so much you know if you guys need anything a video or you know you need some advice hit me up in the comments down below but anyway you guys stay happy stay positive stay winning and i will see you guys in my next video. Peace out, Jack.